question I always get, and I know, Jeff, this is the question that you had asked me when you came in, is if interest rates keep going up because inflation's killing you, is it going to kill the stock market? Well, what I did is what Winston Churchill taught me. The key to the future is study the past. Those who do not are doomed to repeat it. So what did I do? What did I do? I said, okay, let me look at the last time interest rates went stupid. I went back to the 70s. I went back when interest rates got stupid and I looked at how the stock market did. And there it is. There's the data. And I was very surprised. I was extremely surprised because I was talking to Pat and the team and I said, you know what? Now let's just take a quick look. In 77, the funds rate was 462. The Fed funds rate right now is 475. Right, Pat, 475. They're talking about raising rates maybe to another quarter to another half. So that kicks rates maybe to five and a half. Well, in 77, rates went from 462 to six and a half, and the market was down 11 and a half. Now look at 78. Fed funds went to 10, markets flat. 79, Fed's fund went to 15, markets up 12. 1980, Fed funds was 20%. Markets up 25. I had to take a double take. I said, this data can't be correct. So what this is telling me is that higher rates don't necessarily kill markets. There's th other factors. That if, 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 rate, if, if interest rates are going up because people are making more, but people are making more, therefore they're still spending, they're still going to Amazon, they're still buying stuff, then you could have higher rates but still full employment, and you could have a robust profit margins on the Teslas and the Amazons, right? And the Exxon Mobiles and yada, yada. So I thought that was very interesting. I thought, well, I shouldn't be so fearful if interest rates go up. And I know you and I have talked about this a lot, Patrick. This date is interesting. This was a slide from Fidelity. And it just says that about a year after the Fed starts to raise rates, it starts, it, the market starts to trend um, back to its all time high. So that's what that little white, that little line that you could barely see, and you could see the markets. So higher rates don't necessarily kill markets, Jeff. Um, and I thought that was interesting. The Fed has shifted to quarter point raises. We know that. We know that. And as I just said, we just got a payroll number on Friday, and I was surprised. Pat and his team was surprised because I thought the market would be down 3% on this print. And we were hedged going into Friday. Market was down one. Was it down one? It was 1.06, I think. The market, the S&P was down 1.06. So that surprised me. The market has a lot of strength behind it right now. I think it's fear of missing out.